Hi y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, y'all asked for a favorite luxury splurge items video. I'm giving you a favorite luxury splurge items video. Uh, I feel like I'm going to tell you stuff you did not expect me to tell you, but I also feel like I'm going to tell you stuff that you maybe did. So I'm going to start off with the things that I think you think I'm going to tell you, which is shoes. I love shoes. I'm a shoe fanatic. I am obsessed. That's like my one. If I pick between, I'm a shoe and bag and like all that stuff, right? But if I had to pick, I pick a shoe. I love shoes. Uh, I will say this though, if you are like somebody who is new to designer shoes, um, I really, really, really stress you find a retailer that has the brand that you're looking for and try them on in store because not every brand fits the same. Most of them fit differently. I personally can tell you I have tried on more pairs of Jimmy Choo's than I know what to do with myself. I've never bought a pair because they don't fit my foot. Uh, I'm a very standard size seven. I wear Christian Louboutin fine. I wear Valentino's, like a ton of them. Um, all of that, right? But for some reason, Jimmy Choo's just do not fit my foot. Tamra Mellon, who created Jimmy Choo, I'm assuming her new line is the same, so I haven't bought any of hers either. If you're gonna buy the shoes, make sure they fit you and make sure you know how to take care of them. Those are my advice. I'm thinking about doing a shoe collection video, so let me know if you guys wanna see that. Something else I really like to say too on shoes is, I don't really wear flats. Like I have a pair of Golden Goose, like the running shoes because they have some height to them. And then I've got a pair of like Adidas that look like Yeezys um, that I'm allowed to get dirty. Like those are the shoes that if I'm like gonna go in nature, I'll wear those. But everything else is for like civilization. But I don't wear flats like ever. I have the Valentino Rockstead slides that those have a little bit of a lift, but the way they fit, it's taken me some time to break those in, but those fit fine now because they have some like a platform on them. I cannot wear flat comfortably. I just have that kind of instep. Even my Chloe Susannas, I think are a two and a half inch heel, something like that, two, two and a half. And those fit like a flat to me. So those are my like everyday like flat shoes. I'll wear those, but yeah. You want to talk about like my number one vice, like ugh, the, the Carrie Bradshaw with shoes is how I am with shoes. Like it's out of control. But I love them. I love them. Sometimes I just go in my closet and I stare at the wall because it just makes me happy. It just, <laughs> like I keep all my boxes, so I just like stare at all my shoes stacked all nice and just go, hmm. Anyway. Okay, next, uh, staying in like an accessory kind of category, wallets I think are really worth the investment. Um, I don't change out my wallet. Well, put it this way, I'll wear, I have two. I have a larger, I have the Balenciaga, like the Continental one. Um, it's off the, like the motorcycle collection, the Lady collection. I do really love that one. That was on my bucket list, I got that. Um, I love that for like a bigger wallet. For my everyday bag, I carry, like since my back, I carry a smaller bag than I used to. And I have a little card wallet now. Mine is from Stella McCartney. I have two pieces now from Stella and I love them. They're so durable. So I was definitely worth the um, money. And I don't even think it was super expensive for what it was and for how like hard wearing it is. So I really recommend them. Um, but yeah, for something that you take out of your bag a lot, for something that really does like interact with stuff a lot, I think a well-made wallet is totally worth the money. Plus it just needs to make you happy. You know what I mean? Like I think it, it like at least for me mentally, I take joy like i get pleasure out of like pulling out my wallet that i like i like my stuff you know so yeah like i don't why would i want a shitty wallet okay so one more thing that like is in like fashion clothing whatever um i have i so okay i collect this but i also feel like i'm a bit of an expert on them um bras panties lingerie invest especially if you have curves like I am a curvy woman and like my boobs are big I've got an ass like I've got I just I got stuff and so I need help I need structural engineering but I also really love lacy things so like I don't want an ugly bra I will never buy my stuff from Target or JCPenney I apologize if you do if it makes you happy do it it makes me depressed like I 
literally get like immediate depression walking into a Penny's um, uh, lingerie department. So I like, I understand. But because of my body type, I know what I like. I know it works for me. Um, I will fully admit to you, I'm not somebody who like necessarily strives for comfort. I like boning. I like my um, underwire. I like lace. I like a balconette. Like I, like, I know what I like. Um, I like a demi. I don't like full coverage. I don't like like grandma like boulder holders like I hate all that stuff so uh, I tend to spend real money on my stuff because structural engineering made of like delicate material is a feat of mankind so I think we really need to like pay them their their worth um, again similar to shoes not every brand is for you I will tell you I've, I've been into La Perla and I walked out empty-handed because nothing fit me correctly so I think if you're like um, kind of like a Kendall Jenner build or like if you're leaner naturally, I think it might actually fit you great. But for me, I just got too much going on. So like Agile Provocateur is a phenomenal. They're like my favorite. Uh, Honey Burdette, if you aren't willing to spend Agile prices, is a really nice option as well. Especially if you like a sexier look um, when you really want them like kind of Google like go to Honey Burdette's website you'll get my, my drift like but I have many pieces from both of those lines I can tell you from personal experience they hold up phenomenally well um yeah so worth the money uh also go get fitted like go find out what your actual bra size is don't go to Victoria's Secret like go into somebody who's gonna get in the room with you and like kind of push you around a little bit with some tape they know what they're doing listen to them trust the experts You'll have a wonderful experience you'll walk out going damn uh i remember like when i first got measured like for real and they told me what my bra size was i was like floored okay so moving on to things that i don't think you think i'm going to tell you these are all kind of related to like a whole other category of life which is basically like the kitchen <laughs> so i think in terms of a brand le jose which is a name of cast iron i think that is totally worth the money i have two pieces i plan on getting more but i'm very particular so I don't like any of their permanent collection colors. I like, I seem to only like the limited ones. Um, and I don't pay close enough attention to like know when stuff's coming out that I like. Um, so yeah, I used to be better. I've just gotten so much worse. I need to get a little bit better. Um, but I really think they're worth the money because they're so versatile in what they do they'll last longer than we will so you can pass them on to people um every single time you pull it out of your cabinet you get happy because it's beautiful you can leave it on your stove and it looks gorgeous so it's totally worth it um mine has made i don't even know how much stuff it's just crazy how much i've used it and mine is like a limited edition uh my white five and a half quart dutch oven it was a limited edition run with the gold knob and I love it. It's like one of my favorite things. Another thing I really love, I actually got was the Disney did a collaboration with Le say for uh, Beauty and the Beast, so the live action edition. So they did a soup pot. So I ordered that. Um, this was back when that came out. So it was a couple of years ago. And I have used that plenty of times too. So I think they're totally worth the money. My advice is just find either a suite that you like or find things just individually that you really love that you're cool having mismatched I, i'm cool having mismatched i just want it to look cohesive um and then you know go from there but love um something else kitchen that's kind of broad that i think are really worth it are kitchen tools and appliances i really love to cook so for me it like totally makes sense to invest in it um, invest in stuff that you like that you know how to use and take your time it took me a year to get my kitchen maybe 60% of the way there um, when I was learning how to cook like when I really was putting the time into it I would wait until I found the exact whatever it was that I wanted and then I'd buy it uh, but literally like I can't even tell you how long it took I think at this point there's still stuff that I eventually want to get but I've gotten to where I pretty much have ever I've gotten to where I can handle pretty much anything but then there's certain things that I'm like oh that'd be great I have like a low-key kind of uh, addiction to like seasonal pans I don't really understand 
like I, I used to bake a ton so like I kind of understand like where it's coming from but I don't bake anywhere near as much as I used to so I feel like it's just one of those things that's kind of held on over time uh, but I like love them I think I have a pan for like every season but I love it and I, granted like in the holidays I, I am like basically I live in the kitchen so anything that you use a lot or anything that you want to get a lot better at and you want to master, if you're going to kind of put that effort and time and resources behind it, I think it's really worthwhile to invest in something that's going to give you the results that you want or that helps you, you know, make that experience better in some way, shape or form. I think that's fantastic. Um, I can tell you from personal experience, like I've got... I've got a good blender, I've got two good blenders, I've got good knives, I've got a smart oven that has like 13 different things that it'll do, including air fry. That thing is so worth the money. It's from Breville, it's like a smart oven pro or something. Great. Um, yeah, but like stuff that you like to use, stuff that's well made and stuff that you can take care of. I've got copper um, like utensils, like a, like a ladle and some other stuff that has to be hand washed that I've had roommates that did not know that, so they've kind of warped them in the dishwasher, and I'm not bummed about it, but, you know, if you would be, maybe don't do that, unless you are, like, completely solo in your life and you can kind of control that. But yeah, I think kitchen tools and appliances are, like, so worth it. They just, when you need them, they're there for you, and they're there for a long, long time, and they're just great. Lastly, something that I think is really worth uh, the splurge that I, you know, I feel like some people would consider luxury. I definitely do, but I think it's like an everyday luxury that you should totally invest in. Food and wine. I'm a sentimental person. Like, I fully admit this. I'm somebody who, I'm tough, but if it matters to me, it really matters to me. So, in this specific example, like, my friends and my family. So like with food, I, I tend to show my love. One of the ways rather I show my love or that I care about you is by cooking for you. Um, <clears throat> so I don't use like cheap food. I use, I use the best I can possibly find. Um, same thing with wine. If it's like a moment, if you wanna celebrate something, get good wine. I'm not saying like your everyday, if you're, I'm a bit of a wine now, so like your, like your daily drinkers, I don't think those necessarily need to be like crazy expensive, but find a price point that you're comfortable with, but find something that you, um, you're going to have fond memories of. You're going to remember, like even if you keep the cork or you keep the bottle and you repurpose it or whatever, but like you're going to remember that night and you're going to remember how good elements were, right? And I always think about like, oh my God, we had that one wine or we had that one meal. Oh, it was so fantastic. And like the whole 360 memory of it is just that much better. And your memories are that much more heightened because you filled in all the little like nooks and crannies, kind of like your Proustian memories. It's like that, you know? And I, at least for me, I see a lot of value in that because A, it matters to me and B, I, as I, especially as I've gotten older, I used to, when I was younger, I used to like, no, nothing matters. Just like, you know, keep your nose down, work, da, 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 da. And now I'm like, oh my God, no. Now I've like completely 180'd and I'm like, you, it's all about your memories. It's all about your friends. It's all about living your life. You know, you've got to live your life. And if something that makes you happy can improve something else and you can make it even better, do it, you know, like do it. And so you know, food, wine ma matters a lot to me. And whenever I get my friends over or we go out or whatever, and you've got, you know, you've got those people that you're just like, yeah. Having those memories, I mean, I can tell you literally, like I can remember bottles, I can remember the night and it's just, that's worth it, you know? So I don't know if these are things that you necessarily expected to hear, but these are definitely things that I think are well worth the money. They're well worth the splurge. Um, I'm a big believer in like the everyday luxury and like you like buying stuff that you're going to use or wear or whatever, uh, not just like the fine china that you only pull out once a year. Like if you have it, you should use it. You know, life should be lived, but you should live the life that you want to have. So this all kind of follows 
that philosophy. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.